Hi, let's spend a few minutes talking about Firebase. Firebase is what we use for push notifications. Let's talk about what we have to do when we sign into our Firebase console. The first thing you do is create a project. Remember, you are limited to a certain number of projects per account. I'm not sure if that number is 10 or 15, but I know it's around there. That means instead of making a project for each one of your zappable apps, it is better to make categories out of each project. For example, a project can be called restaurant apps. Another project can be called bar apps. Another project can be called e-commerce apps, and so on. Then every restaurant app you make in Zappable, you go to your restaurant apps project in Firebase and create your Android app and iOS app. Now don't be confused with these terms. In Firebase, they call each thing an app. So for one of your Zappable apps, you make an Android app in your Firebase project and an iOS app in your Firebase project. I hope that makes sense. For those of you who have exhausted their project limit, there is the option to request for more. I haven't tried it out yet, so if you want to try it and see what happens, please let us know how that goes so we can share it with everyone. If you're nearing the limit, what you can do is create one project and use that for the rest of your Zappable apps. From what I've searched, there is no limit to how many Android apps and iOS apps uh, allowed in a project. Okay, so now let's create a project. I'm going to go the route of using just one project for all of my Zappable apps. So I'm going to name this project My Apps. So click on project, project name, okay now from here the first one you you create, or, or at least I've always done, is create the fire, add Firebase to your Android app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my apps that actually uses the old push notification feature and replace it with the with Firebase. So this is the old one. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to add Firebase. So from here, we need to get a JSON file, a legacy key, and then we'll get the plist file. And the legacy key will be the same as this one. So go title, get your app ID. Copy that, paste it here, register that app. So this one is the Android app within Firebase. So we'll go ahead and download the Google service, the JSON file. Hmm. So it's there, now we go continue, finish. So now it's right here. We'll click on the three dots, go to settings, click on cloud messaging. Now we have our legacy key here and we can highlight that. Copy it, go back to Zappable, paste the legacy key, browse for the JSON file, our downloads, Google, that was this one, open, and save.
Now what we can do is put the legacy key here as well and save that. Now let's go get our plist file. Go back to Firebase. Go back to General. And we can go to Add App. I'm going to X out of that. Add App. Now we add Firebase to your iOS app. So we go back to Zappable, we get our app ID again, back to Firebase, paste it in here, register. Now we download the plist. Google service info plist. Go continue, continue, finish. Now we go back to Zappable, go to Browse, Google Services, Info, Plist, that was this one. Save. I'm going to X out of this. I like to hit Update and Preview. I hit I like to hit refresh as well. Then I'll go back to the Firebase feature, make sure everything's still there. And look, it went away. That happens sometimes. Actually most of the time. Unfortunately. So I'll go back and put it back in. Copy that. Put that over. Save. Update preview. That should do it. You can hit save again. And that's how you get this done.